My name is Libby Haight. I'm the Director of Intensive Community-Based Services here at Washburn. I'm an LICSW, so that means I'm a licensed social worker and I've been at Washburn for about five years. The Crisis Stabilization Program is a three month long program that seeks to help families reestablish some sense of stability following some sort of mental health crisis. It's meeting twice a week with the family in their home, trying to find out exactly what, what's missing. What does the family need that they don't currently have in order to feel like they can manage the situation more effectively? The thing that I wish we could make sure that all parents are prepared for is that we will be coming into the home. The expectation is we'll be meeting more than once a week. But the reason we do that is because we have really seen that that intensive level of support following an event like that can really be the most impactful for bringing some stability back to the family. Oftentimes, you know, the family system needs some repair when there's a big rupture like this. You know, oftentimes there's just different ways that you have to change how you've approached parenting before when you have a kiddo with a different type of mental health. The idea is to help the whole family feel like they have the tools they need to be able to survive what's going on. And so those tools sometimes are parenting tools and sometimes those tools are directly with the kiddo and sometimes it's family tools. When families are most successful is when they're really open to saying, okay, what, what can I do differently? Where do I go from here? What does this mean for how I relate to my kid, et cetera, right? Like, because we still want to have rules and consequences. We still want to have structure in the home. We still want to have all of those things, but maybe we deliver them differently than we were before. We want parents to feel as empowered as they can. But we also understand that probably in a state of crisis, capacity might be more limited than usual. So we try and strike a balance between taking care of things where it makes sense for us to take care of them because the family doesn't have the capacity to do that, but also empowering the family to know what services are available to them and how they can access them themselves. Services like ours are really um, intended to help stabilize that particular situation. So if someone has to go to the hospital, we want to get someone out right away to help the family kind of transition back home and then have someone else come out to help them transition back to school and then maybe do some family work for the long term. So it's really designed to be a support for people who've experienced a big disruption because of a mental health crisis.